Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to this channel. If you're new here, my name is Maggie and I post all sorts of videos from veganism to adventures, hiking, and everything in between. And today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and that's an unboxing for my first plant mail right here. Um, so I actually met this girl from Michigan and I was looking for a wish list plant and that was a Peperomia prostrata and she just reached out to me and said, hey, I have it, would you like it? And I was like, what, yes! And I got pretty excited and so it's been a week or so since we've talked and now I finally have it here with me. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. So, I'm really excited to see this. It's, you know, it's kind of scary getting plants in the mail, especially in the winter, because you never know whether they will survive or how they will do. Um, but I'm hopeful. If you guys also hear, my dogs are in the background. Um, they're in the backyard and they're barking at something, whether it's a car, a person passing by, or a squirrel. So if you guys hear them barking, I am sorry. Okay, so we kind of have a little bit of dirt everywhere. That is okay. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> it's just a box. <laughs> but I can't wait to see what's inside. Paper. Ooh. All right, so she said that she included some cuttings of a Mikan's plant, and she was unsure whether it's going to survive. But I think it's a little bit cold in here. It looks like she put it in some moss and damped it. But I think if I take it out, then it should probably revive. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Let me show you guys. So it's just like little cuttings of a micans. A micans is a philodendron. It is a velvety leaves. They have a little shine to them. And there is the node. So you always want a node. And then that way you could easily, you know, put it in water and let it root out. So I'm excited to see how that goes. I do feel a little bit cold. So wherever they were before they came to my house, they were a little bit cold there. And then here, here's some random paper. <laughs> you know when you open up a package, you always wanna go through the paper because you just never know whether there's gonna be like a surprise in the paper or two that you're gonna miss. But here is the Peperomia perstrata. Uh, let's see. Ooh, it's a little bit dusty from the soil, but otherwise, I think this one's gonna f survive for sure. Just give it a couple days. I should probably actually do a little update and see how it goes, but. Right now, it, oh my God, this is so cute. Funny thing about this plant is I called multiple states thinking that I'm gonna go to a specific state and get this plant because that's how much I wanted it. Oh my gosh, look how cute they are. Oh my gosh, a little strand broke off. These are so cute. I don't know if you guys could tell, that's probably really bad lighting, but I'm gonna show you guys how they look. Um, they're called Peperomia prostrata, or the common name is string of turtles, and it's literally just like uh, strings that like dangle over the pot, and the little markings on them kind of look like turtle shells. So it's a real, real neat plant, um, and every time I see somebody have it on Instagram, or even like on Pinterest, I'm like, Holy cow, I need it. And this was my number one wish list plan and this girl made it happen. So thank you so very, very much. I'm very excited about that. 
Now I have to clean up this mess, but that's okay. <laughs> and then I'm also going to go ahead and take these little guys out. But I am a little bit worried about them. They look like they had a little rough travel, but that's what happens with, you know. Oh gosh, I gotta go get the dogs. <gasps> The dogs just went crazy. We have dogs pretty much everywhere around us, um, but the dogs next to us are like two big German Shepherds. And so whenever they come into contact, they go crazy at each other. And I always have to run out there. I literally don't even have time to put on my shoes and I just run out there with my socks and I have to get the dogs because at that point, my dogs do not listen. Whew. So I am out of breath because of that. Oh, and someone's at the door. Someone's but I'm, at the front door. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment, and I'll see you guys next one. Bye, guys.